guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make this cute little beachy garden gnome. If you want to how to make him, stick around. I'll show you how. First thing what we're going to use is we're going to use several different sizes of terracotta pots and I'm going to give you the link to those in the description. And then you're going to go ahead and primer these first. You want to make sure you don't skip this step, otherwise you're going to lose, use a lot of your good paint because it takes a lot to paint it. Okay, for after we got it primered, I'm going to use some beachy colors, and I'll give you the link for the ones I used. I'm going to start with a Lagoon from Waverly. It's a chalk paint, and I'm going to paint the entire base in the bot. This is going to be the body of the gnome. Paint the entire thing this color. We're going to come back in and put some other color over it, but just so that you get all your lines straight and everything like that, and you want to make sure that you're going around the flower pot, not up and down, otherwise you will see your brush strokes. Just get it all painted in, and then we're going to do two little ones, and this is going to be for the arms, and we're going to do those the same exact color. Then we're going to come back with some um, patina color, and we are going to paint the legs. And that's just a folk art multi-surface paint I'm using in the patina color. And just again on this one, we're going to paint the entire thing going around so that you don't see your brush strokes and then paint the inside of this too because when he's setting down you will see inside of his legs or inside of his um, feet. Okay next what we're going to do is we're going to take some E6000 glue and we're going to make the hat. We're starting with a smaller, I mean a bigger um, terracotta pot and putting a smaller one on top to give it some height. Next I'm going to come back in with my blue and I'm going to paint that same patina around the edge. Just go real lightly around the edge, and it's going to take a couple coats on both. Any of the colors that you use, you're going to have to do two coats. Just make sure you go with the around and not up and down. Do the same thing on the arms around the edges on both of them. Okay, next we're going to paint the hat, and we're painting it with that same patina color and just paint the entire hat the solid color. Okay, then I'm going to come back in with some cottage white um, chalk paint and I'm just going to make some straight up and down lines just to kind of give it a little bit of um, decorative edge on it. And try not to chip your terracotta pot. You can see I have a chip already on mine. Just go straight up and down and kind of evenly space them. And then do the same thing for the arms. And then we're going to do the same thing for the legs. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and make his nose. I'm using the Craft Smart um, Oven Bake Clay from Michaels. I'm just rolling about a half inch round ball. And then I'm going to make the beard out of Sculpey Ultralight Clay, and that's an oven bake clay as well. So just kind of work with it a little bit, get it rolled out good, and it's going to roll out to about a quarter of an inch. Then I'm going to go ahead and start shaping it. I'm just going to draw a line across the, or cut a line across the top part. That's going to be the top part of my beard. And then I'm just going to kind of curve around. I'm going to go above the bottom ledge of the pot. So just curve it around to the shape of a beard. And you could paint this on if you want to, or you could even um, use, a, if you're going to put it inside, you could actually use a faux fur beard. You don't have to use the clay. Just curve it around there and then curve it in, inward on the sides. Then just kind of smooth it out a little bit. And then I'm going to take a little tool and I'm just going to drag some curvy lines in it just to kind of give it the look of the beard. And just kind of curve them on the sides inward. And then you can go straight down in the middle part. And just put a lot of those because it makes it look a little bit more realistic. And you can use the same pot that you just painted for your guy to do this step on because I baked this in the oven with this one here and it didn't it didn't change the paint at all. It came out just, just like I had painted it. So I'm just taking a piece of um, parchment paper, putting it over the top because I don't want it to adhere to my clay pot. I'm just curving it around there just so I make sure that I get that curve so that it does curve around the flower pot. and get it shaped on there. Then I'm going to go ahead and put it on a, a cookie sheet and I'm going to put two pots on each side or anything that will hold it up, keep it from moving and go ahead and bake it. 
Okay, next I'm going to take my hat and I'm just going to add a little bit of texture to it by adding a little bit of the same color paint to it. And then I'm going to come back in and put some white on it as well and kind of dab it around there until it's blended in so it's real soft. But it'll just give it a nice, you know, texture for the, for the hat. Okay, then I'm going to come back in just like I did on the base. And the, on the arms, I'm just going to go all the way around with the lines again, just to kind of tie the whole design in together. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and assemble them. I'm taking some jute string, and I'm going to make it three times um, as thick. Just try to get something that's a little bit thick, if you have to use several strands together. And then go ahead and put a little bit of glue on the end of it just to kind of make it where you can um, run it through the hole in the terracotta pot. So we're just going to go through the arms. And then I'm going to tie that off. And I'm going to put a um, 5 16 inch nut on the bottom of it just to kind of, in case the pot ever were to crack or whatever, your arm's not going to come off. And then I'm going to glue those in after I get them exactly where I want them. And just add a little bit of glue to the knot so it doesn't come untied. And then go ahead and attach the other arm. But don't tie that one off yet. We're going to have to figure out exactly where that's going to be. Just lay it over the top of the, of the pot and figure out exactly where that's going to hang. You want to put your hat on there so you make sure you know exactly where it's going to be. And then go ahead and tie that knot off. And then double check it before you tie your nut on there. And then apply and attach your nut. And now that you know exactly where you want, to want it, go ahead and tie that off. Cut that extra string off, and then we're going to glue those nuts to the bottom of those pots. And that, that, that way they won't bang around on there. Just make sure that you get them glued in good. And then we're going to attach that with glue to the body. And you can do these in a lot of themes. I just pick the beachy theme, so, but you can do them in any color combination that you want to. And then just glue that jute right down to the top part of that body. And then we're going to glue the hat on. And I'm going to take a little E6000 glue and I'm going to put it at about five different places all the way around the edge of there. And then I'm going to put some hot glue on there as well just to hold it in place while that E6000 glue dries. But be sure and use the E6000 glue because you want it to be permanent. And just make sure that you have your hat level when you get it on there. So kind of step back a little bit and take a look at it. Just make sure that you do have it on there straight. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and attach the, the feet or the legs. And just put in a little bit of E6000 glue on the bottom part. And I'm going to put some hot glue on those as well just to hold those in place while that glue dries. And do the same thing for the second leg. Okay, he's coming together pretty pretty quick and easy. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and attach his beard. I'm just going to put some hot glue on it. And stick it right up there underneath that hat. Or right to the edge of that hat. Just push it up there and make sure it's pretty flush with that hat. And then go ahead and attach the nose. 
And then I thought he needed some sunglasses, so I'm just a, applying some sunglasses to it. I'm not going to glue those in. And then if you're going to put this outside, you need to be sure and do this step. Spray it with an outdoor clear coat because you want to protect it from the elements. Just get a good coat on there, and you may want to come back in and do it the second time. Okay, there you have it. You can put them in your garden. They look great in a garden. Again, you can do any color you want. If you like the video, hit like. If you want to see future videos, hit subscribe. And if you want to be notified when I have another video, hit the bell. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it.